Hi, I'm Janie Lawson and I'm a milliner. I run the Glam Hatters Tea Parties. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make hair accessories. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a beaded hair comb. So, you will need 0.4mm wire, crystals, and I've got teardrop crystals for the ends as well, and a comb. So you can buy all of these separately from bead shops and on the internet, or if you want to buy all in kit form, we sell the kits on our website, so check out the website. So first of all, you use your long piece of wire, and you start off by going in between the first tooth, and wrapping the wire around, I've done one wrap, then grab your crystal, it's easier if you just pop them all on the desk and pick them up from there. So I've got my crystal on and I'm just going to hold it in place while I wrap the wire around and then I go through the next tooth and around the comb. So I'm going to run all the way along here, putting the crystals on as my first step. There we go, wrap around. Another crystal. Okay, so that's all my wires on. And the easiest way to work with it, push all the wires to one side as you're working through. Now you're gonna take your four millimeter crystal and you're going to pop it on about halfway down the wire. Now just remember you don't need to use any measuring because if they're all slightly different it gives it a bit of a shimmer straight across. So I've gone about halfway down, folded the wire in half so that it's underneath my crystal, wrap the wire around the stem one and a half times and then I just push the wire back up. So now I'm ready to put my teardrop crystal onto the end. So I'm going to go up about four centimetres up, fold it in half so that I've got the teardrop at the end and the wire wrapped around one and a half times. And I'm going to come back and trim that off in a second. So that's my first wire done. Now what you're going to do, using your cutters, you're just going to trim off the ends to get rid of those spikes. You don't want those. And what I do is I just, each time I trim one, move it over to the other side so you know which ones you've done. And then once you've done that, you can just Arrange the wires so that they're all facing forwards because when you put your comb in, you don't put it in this way. It's the opposite to the way you think it's going to be. You actually lift your hair up and you sweep it up and then you push it forwards so you've got your fan of wires. And that is how to make a beaded comb.